Hey what's up guys, Ecstatic PC Gamer here from the GameReviewCrew.com and today guys we are going to be taking out this 50 cal sniper rifle and using it against a couple of CSAT guys just because we can and you know what, I think I'm actually going to enjoy this mission. So today guys, let's go to the enemy checkpoint uh, that is between the illegal weapons and this immobilized armor side mission. Let's go and clear it out with the sniper rifle. Now guys, um, the reason I love doing this mission with the sniper rifle is because you have this open area here, no forest, nothing. Usually I take the quad, moving along here, hide in the bushes somewhere, and it's usually about 500 meters off kilometer, and it's so such a nice spot to snipe these guys from. So you'll see we'll take the sniper rifle, go over there, I actually think maybe that would be a much better place, but that'll be another another video for another day. So let's just go and hide in the bushes over here, take a couple of pot shots at the CSAT guys, and yeah, for those of you who don't know, the GM6 Lynx, or this sniper rifle that we're using, was used in Call of Duty Ghosts, if I'm correct. Um, it had like a, a spirit level on the scope. Um, I really do not know why someone would want to put a spirit level on a scope. That's just me, I've never really needed to use a spirit level on a scope, I've mainly just needed a place to shoot and something to shoot at and a scope mounted to the gun and that's about it. But hey, if you want to do the math and have a spirit level attached to your gun, I suppose that's all good too. Guys, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is amazing. For those of you who genuinely want to see us play that game, check out Racidium's page. I know that he's going to start with uh, those reviews of his soon. Um, I'm still going to be doing the armor side missions, <clears throat> considering I live long enough to do that, and I don't front flip this quad again and hit trees and stuff. So yeah, guys, go check that out. That's pretty cool. Another game that I think would be very that is going to that is going to be a very very amazing if they do build it is uh, Ground Branch. Go do a bit of research on Ground Branch. It is a pure tactical shooter. It is amazing. Um, it might not be as fun as Armor 3 because you don't really get vehicles and wep uh, weapons. You will get weapons, but you don't get vehicles and stuff like that that you can drive around, I suppose. I haven't seen a lot of the game, but from my reading, uh, it seems like it's going to be a very good tactical shooter. Go check that out, guys. It's worth a look. Let's see where we are. Okay, we're nearly near... I wonder if we should not maybe just ditch the quad. No. No, 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 no. Do not have suicidal thoughts like that, ecstatic. You shall use the quad. Alright, let's get some height here. And I think we can ditch the quad right here. Alright, cool. Now's the perfect time for suicidal thoughts. Um, guys, that Apex update coming out for Armor 3, I, I'm not sure what to expect. I don't really think anybody's sure as what to expect. Um, I just generally hope that they'll add something like this, a campaign where you have the whole open world to go and explore and just go and do missions and stuff. I really think that this is a recipe for a very, very, very good game. I don't want to be funny, but um, I've enjoyed this part of Armor 3 more than what I've enjoyed well, just about any part from any game. So let's just get back to the side mission real quick. I usually take this spot over here mainly because I never get spotted here. and. Um, Let's quickly have a look and see how far we are and see where the enemy is and let's just mark some targets. Okay, so we've got an MG guy over there. This dude over here with a, one is that the, I think that's the grenade launching static MG. Those two guys over there, there's another guy behind this bush, you can't see him, I'll maneuver now. That guy, that guy and there's a patrol. Now, I'm not quite sure where that patrol is, I think they're walking around the back somewhere. Zoom out real quick. Ah, there we go. Right on cue. Okay, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. GM6, and then he said bad 50 cal. GM6 links doing what it does best. MG guy first. Sorry, my marksmanship has gone down a bit. And Seriously, where did that go? Ah, there we go. Hmm. Oh, really? Really? I just hate it when that happens. They always duck before you shoot like they know you're going to shoot them. I mean, come on. Anyway, I suppose just my luck. Bye-bye. 
I would really, 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 really not like to know what it's like to get hit with a 50 cal. Uh, there's obviously no turning back because I don't know anyone alive has been hit with one. I know a rush, or I know of a Russian shoulder, sh shoulder soldier that was shot in the head with an AK in the uh, in Afghanistan, and um, he survived. But I suppose he's just a very hard-headed person. All right, let's take you out. What happened? I wasn't looking. Okay, so he is dead. All right, so hold still, hold still, and is he dead? I see that one of the update that uh, the guys at Bohemia released allows you to rest your weapon against something which stabilizes it. Now that's pretty cool. I must say that's something that I'm very impressed with. And guys, do forgive me if I'm just talking trash. I've had a rough day. So, uh, I come to armor to shoot people to relax. <laughs> I know that's probably not... Well, this probably is one of the best ways to relax, I suppose. You can actually get away with hurting other people, and by not actually hurting other people... Again, like I said, guys, I'm just talking trash. Again, I apologize. Let's quickly empty out this place. Okay, now... Some of you guys <clears throat> who were not paying attention, there's a three-man patrol over there, there's a guy in the tower over there, guy in the MG over there, those guys over there, that guy, and that guy. But there are two more hiding behind that wall. Okay, these guys seem a bit alert to my presence, and we don't want that. So let's get down, <clears throat> and let us... Kerry swinging his rifle around like he's a swordsman or something. Let's get back here. The only, the only reason I don't really like coming here, I mean, I love coming here. It's a great place to come and shoot people, but you never have a great, there we go, great spot to rest your rifle. Oh, wow, really? Okay. He is dead. Let's quickly see if we can't take out this guy over here. Up, oh, dead. Alright, cool. Now, I did see one guy leave the place there. The uh, outpost over there. So, I wonder where he's going. I wonder if he's actually going to come closer. Because they can't hit me, you know, further than 400, 500 meters, I would say. Um, sometimes they can barely even hear it. They just see their buddies drop and then it's... Then everybody goes a bit nuts. So let's just see how far can we get without one well, number one getting shot, getting spotted, and getting dead. I learned that from a lot of a lot of gamers. Getting dead. All right. Let's do this all sneaky like, huh? There you are. How far is that? That's about four and a half, four hundred and fifty, and die. Ta da! <laughs> this is uh, one of the guns a buddy of mine likes to call the can do gun. It can open just about anything. Alright, let's see. You, you're having too much of a good day. Huh. Oh. Having too much of a good day. They're having too much of a lucky day. I think we should do something about that. What do you guys say? Let's put some lead into our friend over there. And the save screen to give me a heart attack. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. That's quickly. Seriously? I want to put my rifle down and I'm going to aim. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Right, okay. Let's see if we can't do this. Okay, now we're taking a ride into the danger zone here, guys. Because now we are within their range. Well, that's if they can see us, right? So always keep in mind... Alright, this seems like a pretty good spot to chill out. Okay, let's drop that a bit. Okay, I don't know what I'm going. 
I wonder if it's going into this tree. Hmm. Or into this bloody rock of all things. Nah. I'm so glad I got all that 50 cal ammo because I still would like to use some of it for the other outpost that I will be doing soon. Great. Let me first check how far I am before I just keep moving forward. Maybe it's just because I'm not using... Uh, 400? About 400? Yeah, about 400 meters. Alright, cool. So we are Calib... Ooh, hello. Are you lost, little boy? Yeah, I think he was totally lost. We shall name him Oliver Twist. Not because of the uh, the little boy Oliver Twist, who was an orphan, but by the way he died. Facing towards us and now facing in the opposite direction. Alright. Oh, just behind him. There we go. And he is down. Okay. Now that we've pretty much cleared out those guys, there's only two more left and they're hanging inside the uh, outpost. So usually what I do is there's an MG gunner over there. I always take his gun and then go and clear out the place. So um, what's nice is that if you leave the gun on the floor, you can always go and clear out an outpost, come back, pick up the gun again. Um, it's not like some of those games where if you drop something and you have to literally pick it back up if you want to keep it or else it just doesn't exist anymore. So let's keep going. I'm, I'm actually going to try sniping from there at one stage. I think that would actually be a much better vantage point in any case. I think because it's higher and there's a lot more place for you to hide in. So let's go and get ourselves some guns and take out this outpost. One more thing guys, I know in a previous video I said I don't like the MX rifle and I have a confession to make and this doesn't really happen often but I was wrong. I do like that gun, it is an amazing gun. I was playing Armour 3 the other day and I wanted to play the um, the last, the very very last mission. Um, the two outcomes, if you're on the second last mission, no sorry I lie, the last mission you have two options. One you can go and obey your general's orders and um, go and Go, you know, push the advance against the AAF, or you can go and find Lieutenant James, the British uh, lieutenant from Falcon Team. You'll find him all bloody and messed up, and you'll have to go and do a couple of things for him. And then uh, once that's done, you're sort of left on your own uh, with the whole island to yourself. You do eventually pick up a couple of guys that you can use throughout the. Um, Let's quickly just grab some ammo yeah, that you can use throughout the, the mission. I, of course, took my trusty M14 and I went to go and um, I went to go and uh, clear out this one outpost and I ran out of ammo and I decided, well, you know, seeing as I'm here and I don't want to use the bad guy guns, I took the, um, the MX rifle. And funny enough, that gun just served me well for the rest of the mission and that's just when I decided, you know what, I was wrong. It doesn't happen often, so you know, I might as well just spice things up and be wrong for once in a while. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, let's get serious, guys. An outpost awaits us. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Of course, I shot him. Alright, let's check. Make sure this place is clear. Okay, that's pretty much clear. And over here is where our last two buddies are going to be waiting for us. So, let's get all dramatic and start throwing. Hand grenades into this place. Granata! It just sounds a lot more dramatic if you say it in Russian. Kaplui! Alright, let's find out how much damage we're done. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Free up our supply network a bit. And there you have it, guys. That's how you clear out the supply network. You, uh, oh, supply network. What am I talking about? Outpost. That is how you clear out the outpost. Uh, let's kind of look and see what's inside here. Medikits, uh, ammo, grenades, 
you cannot take the M wrap, which sucks. I've always wanted to take one because whatever vehicle you take back to base, you keep for the next time you go and scout. So if you take, for example, one of those hatchbacks, drive it all, all the way back to base, you can then use it again. Or if you just leave it and walk into base, they give you a car. So I always wanted to take one of these things because it's got better armor and I was hoping it would be armed because you just can't get armed vehicles in this whole scouting camp, this whole scouting side mission deal that you got going on here. Ugh, and it's just, you know, would have been nice to have an armored armed vehicle that you could take and go and scout and just do things. But again, like I'm saying, I'm really hoping that uh, this Apex update that's coming out. I'm very obsessed with this game. I must say, this is like the one game that I've been looking forward to and enjoyed the most. I think I've played the campaign three times. And um, I always wanted to make Battlefield 2 like this. I got into modding with Battlefield 2. And that's sort of like where I'm, I left off with the whole gaming thing. Well, actually, it's not where I left off. Where I actually started up on the whole gaming thing was just, you know doing mods and stuff and it was fun and I loved it so yeah guys that's about it for today I think that's all the next mission I will be doing is the um, other enemy checkpoint over here I think um, we should do that and uh, oh, for you guys who watched my one shot one kill video remember there were those explosions happening over here well I kind of found out what it was and it also happened to me at Surta during the Elite Warriors side mission. Remember there were there were those explosions and uh, I still said I really wanted to go and have a look and see what's happening over there. Well I found out that there's a minefield over there and there's a herd of sheep and of course you put sheep in a minefield and the sheep wander around and then boom. So I literally just ran down here and as I looked over here to the side there were just dead sheep lying everywhere and I came across a couple of mines. So that's that. Guys, that's about all from me from today. Um, please go and have a look at our site, like and share, subscribe and all that. Um, please, guys, your comments are much appreciated. It's very easy for me to go up to friends and family and say, hey, guys, what do you think of this? And they're all like, oh, it looks great. And then it doesn't. So, guys, do me a favor. Give me your honest opinion. I really don't mind. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Ecstatic PC Gamer from the GameReviewCrew.com.